Hey guys, Decav13 here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Fate Grand Order. So, in the last episode, we read through the rest of the Garden of Sinners event, and now we are going to begin with yet another event instead of getting back to the main story of the game, which is going to be updated in... maybe another week or two. <laughs> uh, I highly doubt I'm going to finish the main story before we get to the first Lost Belt, but... Eh, I'll do my best, because I, I have some time to kill since I'm not since I finished recording Rune Factory Four. Um, just gotta edit the rest of that, and I don't have anything to worry about until March 31st. So, yeah, guess I'll just be doing FGO until then. So let's get started with Episode One of Saber Wars. <laughs> I haven't actually read any of these because I've been doing it on my main account too. But I, I can already expect it's going to be the level of stupid that I expect from these events, and I'm real happy about that, so let's get started. Alright, uh, we have assassins on this. Of course, we have servants locked to this. Uh, I have an event team set up? Yeah, uh, sort of? Oh no, I was using this team for grinding. And that one's for solos. And I guess I'll just fuck up this team, why not? Alright, what event bonus servants do I have? Not many. I mean, I have Nero, who I'm obviously going to use. I don't have any of the CEs, which is kind of unfortunate. But oh well. Uh, what art CEs do I have? Is it just projection? 10%, 10%. Battle MP charge to 40, 20. Yeah, I'll use new beginnings. Why not? I'll bring Bedivere too. Um, what do I want to put Bedivere with? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put someone else in here. I'll, I'll, I'll put in Sanzo. Then I'll take out Fran. Let's put in Bedivere. I'll put in some of my four stars because that's gonna give me more. So Fran. How much does Artoria give us? She still only gives 20%, so there's really... That's Siegfried. He gives 20% as well, and that's lower cost. So we're going to have one servant not really contributing to... Uh... Hmm. Actually, you know what? Instead of Sanzo, I want to bring someone else, because... I got her off screen with the uh, last download campaign we got, and I'm very happy that I got Passion Lit, so I want to use her. Uh, yeah, this should be good. I'm gonna really be grind. Well, I shouldn't say I'm really gonna be grinding the Artorium off screen. I'm not really all that invested in Saber Lily. She's not that good. Ha! Ha! He ya! Such nice weather, isn't it, Senpai? Oh, would you like some more tea? <clears throat> Today I've prepared a special apple tea. Have some more, it'll help you relax. The doctor ate too many rice cakes, so he's feeling ill. He wants you to at least enjoy yourself in his stead. <clears throat> foe! Foe! It seems foe is the day off today as well. With weather and a breeze as nice as this, it's only natural. Ha! More skillful! I must be more skillful. Faster, too! Since this, is, since this is a singularity, what we're seeing here is not definite. But all the greenery and warmth is the real thing. Having the perfect weather for a picnic. We haven't had strange, like the, strange luck like this since Halloween. This, too. Ha! Yeah! Noble Phantasm Level 1, Caliburn! We owe, we owe it all to Lily's training, I think. Yes, this is all thanks to Senpai's kind consent to help Lily get stronger. If Senpai keeps on doing this, it's only a matter of time before ads like Got Worries? Come to John's consultation room. <laughs> Gets posted on the bulletin board in Caldea's cafeteria. But don't worry, if that happens, leave the management to me. Thanks, Mash. I'll manage your schedule with an iron fist to make sure... 
to make you become the most loved person within the heroic spirit community. <laughs> Thanks, Mesh. I appreciate that. <coughs> what a surprise. You're training all by yourself, Lily? Yes, I'm still an immature saber, so I want to hone my sword skills whenever I have time. But no matter how hard I train, my holy sword is not getting any stronger. Though I'm improving little by little, my noble phantasm, the pride of a servant, is still immature. And so I've decided to take my leave at this time. I have no future as a servant, so I am afraid I will only be a burden to you, Master. <clears throat> oh, Lily. True. Your noble phantasm must get stronger. Stop. This is important, so staple that mouth shut, senpai. It's not my fault their noble phantasm sucks, Mash. I am an immature demi-servant, so I know painfully well how Lily feels. In particular, the level of one's noble phantasm is a serious issue. Right now, Lily and I have formed an unenhanced NP alliance. But e even without enhancement, though, your NP is still better than hers. So I want you to be particularly ca particularly careful about saying anything about noble phantasms. Or else you're gonna staple my mouth shut? Um, should you be in an alliance like that? That's why the only thing left for us to do is train. Training will never betray anyone. You are a magnificent saber. No. Given the opportunity, you'll succeed for sure. Don't worry, okay? Isn't that right, Master? <laughs> Whether a strong heroic spirit or a weak heroic spirit, you must... Tho, so bring me a stapler. It's on Doctor's desk. <laughs> Mesh, no, don't don't say something like that with a smile. Tho, so, Tho! So. Don't you get that fucking stapler. N no, that's not necessary, Mash. What John says is true. It's all due to my lack of confidence in my inexperience. Alright, it's been decided. The next race shift will be for Lily's training. We must strike while the iron is hot. Before Doctor recovers from his stomach ache, we're going to race shift on our own. It's not elite. Alright then. Phew. I have completed 1,000 strikes, Master. Even though this is my usual practice, I'm so glad that Jonko witnessed how I have improved. Fo! Fo! Well done. From what I've seen, your attacks are perfect. However, there is still there's still a conundrum. The issue is not with you, Lily. It's why in the world the strength of your blade won't improve. I'm sure that it must be my lack of confidence that clouds the glow of this holy sword. I am a phantom consisting of elements separated from her, from a certain heroic spirit. I am the if that existed between I between the time I drew the sword of selection and the moment I became king. The if version? Is that different from Alter? Yes, indeed she also has a form in training, but that form is not as flowery as me. I am nothing more than an if that is dissimilar to the authentic me. But as long as this lily exists, I am not a fake or a fraud. It's just I cannot help but think that I am not who I, who I originally was, and that I am just a mere phantom. Now I, now I am unable to train without casting aside my doubt, and I can't unleash my holy sword's potential either. More specifically, I can't increase my noble phantasm level. That's what my doubts have led me to have led to. Oh, Lily. Huh? What was that in the sky? Huh. Sounds like something's falling. What? What was that? Fall? What the heck? It's a rocket. Whoa, whoa! What the heck is that? It appears to be a meteorite. I don't know what kind of meteorites you've seen before, Lily. I think that's just a rocket. It must have fallen from the sky. No need to worry. I don't detect any radiation, killer viruses, or any other variety of dangerous substances. You two are re really overreacted. This kind of thing happens all the time and is completely harmless. 
Does this happen all the time? I don't know that this happens all the time. No, I don't mean a meteorite. I mean, I would like some orders from you, senpai. What's going on? This kind of thing happens a lot? Well, yes. The other servants say that it doesn't. But when I'm alone, it happens pretty often. Your view of the world's pretty crazy, Lily. Absolutely right. Your words are quite correct. There's a person coming from the rocket. I mean, from the meteorite. What? Could this be? No need to explain, because I was able to give you a clear view of me when I made my emergency landing. At any rate, I can't stand by and watch this anymore. You there. You're a saber class, right? Y you mean me? Yes, I'm still a novice. So I'm the lowest rank of the saber class. Yes, that attitude of yours is pathetic. Faint-hearted. So terribly faint-hearted. Are you pitiful or what? All that's left for you to do now is fight. Prepare yourself, Saber. You as well there, Master. I, Mysterious Heroine X, will show you what it means to be a true Saber. A Mysterious Servant has come to fight. Senpai, Lily, prepare for a fight. Y yes, of course. No matter who the enemy is, it is a knight's duty to protect their master. Man, this is getting really fucking weird really fucking fast, huh? <laughs> Alright then. You know, the one thing I'm going to miss about these events is how easy these battles are. I'm actually going to miss this. Oh well, nothing I can do about it. Let's try to think what events are coming up that are going to be really hard. Yeah, probably everything coming up next, <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, just attack Lip. Man, you got a lot of crits. You know, here. G give Lip her noble phantasm. Unle unless she actually just kills you here. That would be acceptable as well. Nah, she's not. Her attack is high enough. Oh, never mind, she did. What? Why did I not believe in Lip? That was pretty good for a warm-up match. If I have to if I have to compare. Yes, just like warm-up exercise. That is to say, you're all still novices, like preschoolers who can't even wake up in the morning. I think we got some got in some pretty good blows. That saber even blurted out some oofs. Right, when my hand slip and accidentally hit her in the shin, she kept saying, it doesn't hurt at all, despite the tears welling up in her eyes. <laughs> No doubt about it, she's an Artoria. Oh, foe! No, to be honest, I was holding back. I didn't ambush you from the dark. Bury landmines or kidnap anyone important to you, did I? I mean, I guess you didn't. Uh, well, that certainly was a fair and square fight. Very much like the Saber class. By the way, who are you anyway? If my eyes were not mistaken, you came out of that rocket... Thank you for finally asking. I'm Heroin X, the Saber of Sabers. I'm the ultimate Saber. I am the one and only Holy Sword wielder in this universe. A, a one-for-all kind of Saber. Really? Based on that tracksuit, who knew you were really someone that amazing? The Saber of Sabers? So you're a Grand Class? Or, wait, but your class is... Silence. You call yourself Shielder or whatever, but as a freshman in the Fate world, you cannot see the truth. Fucking god, here we go. <laughs> I was waiting for this. What you can see with your eyes is not all that there is. 
To get along in the world, sometimes you must turn your eyes from the truth and let it remain ambiguous. <laughs> Everyone with your look is a saber. A master that understands. Very nice. <laughs> Fucking goddammit. It's Heroin X, right? Explain why you attacked us so suddenly. After that, I would request that you leave immediately. We are busy with Lily's training. You've hit the nail on the head, Shieldy! I told you that I'm, I'm the ultimate saber class servant, right? From where I stand, I cannot overlook that feeble saber there. I have a very important mission, though I cannot speak of it. At any rate, you call yourself Saber Lily, right? What you need now is special training and a teacher that you can respect. That's right. That's why I'm training with my sword. I said that you need a teacher. You require the help of a great senpai that has fought many years as a saber. Yeah, but you, you said she needs someone who, can, who she can respect. <laughs> Therefore, you're, not qu you're quite fortunate, as expected of me, the one with A-rank luck. What I, Heron X, hide is my first class saber teaching license. It was fate that, the, that forced Du Stallion 2 to crash here. Let me show you that I'm a first-rate saber. Uh, Alright, I don't really understand you, but sure, I'd appreciate it. Nice answer. I like you. Let's get started. I shall now explain exactly what kind of training you shall undergo. You will gather the three kinds of materials that possess mysterious powers which are spread across this world. They have fallen from my spacecraft. If you don't gather them and repair it, I cannot return home. So you mean helping her by, by training her, you just mean using her to gather the crap that fell off your spaceship when you crashed. It's a pretty selfish training regimen. You can't return home. I feel so sorry for you. Lily, you're so naive. Alright, leave this to me. I need to gather materials and repair that vehicle, right? Right. I'm usually not one to trust in others, but since things are generally going my way, I'll let it slide. Now I shall tell you the true details of your training. This spacecraft will probably summon a large number of monsters. It is a very out-of-place object. There is about as much wealth here as all of England. Therefore, it is obvious that huge mobs will descend on it to make it their own. Your job is to fight these lawless bands, defeat them, and gather super particles called Artorium. Artorium are, are energy particles present throughout the universe. It seems impossible, but if we can get some, I can make this work. If you say so. You there, Shieldy, Master. You're not going anywhere. It's too late, so give it up. Damn it. I thought we could make it if we left now. Yes, New Year's vacation still isn't over. This is a pretty rough turn of events, Senpai. At any rate... Once you've gathered enough Artorium, I shall power up Lily by myself. Explanation complete. If you want more details, then gather the spacecraft materials in Artorium. From now on, we must be fierce as demons. We will cut down all saber faces we run into. Even if they're not saber faces, just looking like one is also a sin. We'll also cut down the legs of Jean d'Arc, too. No, not Jean. A saber's dignity rests on battle. Experience and learn this now. Learn this. Now, begin your warrior training, Lily. This is way beyond crazy. This is insanity. Foe, foe! See, even foe agrees. <laughs> this is just insanity. Uh, yeah. No, she's insane. I think that's more than fair to say. Alright, I'm going to take a little break here, and we'll continue on with the story in a second for you guys. Alright, I'm back. So, let's... Okay, this one isn't story. I think this... Yeah, this one's just a fight. So... I mean, I'll just bring Lily. Uh, I'll toss him better here. Why not? Alright. I should probably, should probably put a CE on him. But oh well. <laughs> Oops. I really should think things through like that. In a, a little bit more detail instead of just rushing in to get the battle done. 
But I mean, th this is kind of a low level uh, event, so I guess I shouldn't really be all that worried. I mean, if if I was doing story right now, I'd be uh, I'd be fucking like restarting the app. Bet your ass on that. And of course, look, it's the automaton with the fucking Aho guy. What else would it be? Alright, well, I see a lip chain, I'm going for a lip chain. Alright, so... 43. I forgot since I have her with, uh... Let's see, a, she has 30% to start. Not used to my... Not used to seeing Lip with starting C... <laughs> with, a. Uh, what is it, uh... Starting in pick. Get all my terminology mixed up because I don't know what I'm fucking talking about. In case you haven't been, in case you can't tell, it's been a while since I last played. Um, I've actually been playing a lot of Grand Blue Fantasy lately. Yeah, it's not something I'm just getting into, but uh, I mean, I I've had the account since New Year's. I was doing some rolls on it because, you know. They're they're quite generous with their roles on events. I have so many SSRs on that in that game already. It's nuts. Uh, but yeah, I've been enjoying that. That's fun. I would sound like an expert at that. Well, then again, I'm not an expert at this either. But you know, here I feel like I at least know what I'm doing, sort of. Yeah, there we go. Alright, fuck him up, lip. It's a shame that Lip's Noble Phantasm doesn't do all of that much damage. I just brought a nice little heal afterwards for the whole party, which is nice. That changes depending, I think, overcharge. Well, I mean, at least the lip I have on this account isn't going to be all that extraordinarily powerful. The lip I have on my personal, she's NP3, so I'm very happy about that. And of course, in this in this event, what what kind of CEs do we get? More of these fucking things that are just CE experience. I, I really don't like those cards. I feel like they serve no purpose to me. They just take up my CE space. And it's just shit I have to clear up before I do more quests. Like, ugh. Like, if you're gonna give us a CE, give us something that maybe does something. Like, gives us more Artorium. I mean, not that I'm gonna go... Believe me, I'm not going out of my way to grind Artorium. It for this event, because I think you get the first copy of Saber Lily at 50,000 Artorium, that's where I stop. Because I just don't care enough about Saber Lily to get more than one copy of her. I know I'm never, ever going to use her anyway, because she sucks. So, <laughs> just just leave it at that. Alright. Uh, wh what the fuck did I just say? What did I just fucking say about these goddamn fucking garbage ass CEs that don't do shit? Alright, let me get rid of a bunch of this fucking crap that I'm not gonna use. I'll keep one of those. Uh, let's see. Oh god, I have so many of these. I should max limit break that. I'll keep Sprinter. That was not awful. Alright, how many is that? That's quite a few of them. 
I need some mana prisons out of it. 45. <sighs> Alright, let's fucking try this shit again. Right, let's see if a rider. I mean, I guess I'll bring X. Why not? Actually, I'm gonna swap out Lip because we have other classes in there that she's not so great at handling. So I'll just throw your Baraki in. Yeah, that should be alright. Senpai, don't you think it's about time that we answered the question that's on everyone's mind? Ah, uh, you mean about who X really is. I think that's something we should avoid for now. It could cause things to get worse with her. <laughs> oh? What? Do you have a question for me? Since, we're, since we've reached a break in Lily's training, go right ahead. Okay, for my first question, I'm alright with gathering Artorium. But how is it that you'll be able to power up Lily with the Artorium we gather? Right, I didn't explain how that works, did I? This is common sense through the, throughout the entire Milky Way. Artorium is a newly discovered almighty energy particle. Uh-huh. My spacecraft is powered by Artorium. Also inside my spacecraft, the Spirit Origin Enhancement Device. A capsule known as Atom Cadmon. When this device is fed enough Artorium, Lily can be physically enhanced. What is Cadmon? In the Hebrew language, it means doll or human. But with a negative connotation. They say it is very it is a very immoral thing. I guess you could say it's much like Paracelsus. Adam Cadmon is a device that creates an exact spirit origin copy based on the spirit origin's information. You can reason noble phantasms level all you like! Wow! <laughs> There's a device like that? That would be awesome! Please, let me use it as well! It's the perfect chance to improve the effectiveness of my noble phantasm! <laughs> nope, no can do. That's its flaw. Adam can only increase things made of Artoria. What? Oh, poor Mash. Oh dear. That was a short-lived dream. I'm sorry, Master. It seems I'll always be a hopeless servant. Don't you say that, Mash. You are the most useful servants in the game. Don't worry, Mash. You'll become stronger for sure someday. Foul, foul! Those are honest, frank words. You have a good master, Shieldy. Y yes. I will do my best to live up to Master's expectations. N now for my next question. I'm alright with gathering the spacecraft particles. But why do the monsters that are attacking carry these parts? They look nothing more than they look like nothing more than junk. Oh no. Yahoo! I found some! I found some, General! Now this be a true dreamland! No doubt about it. This mountain of treasure will make us fat stacks! I'm getting goosebumps all over. Me too. Ah, what's this? Mirage, a find? Did I accidentally order a happy meal? To my left is the sweet marshmallow. To my right is a petite kawaii golden haired night princess. Good lord, I don't think I can take anymore. Now's my chance to get a waifu. <laughs> Fucking. I've had a, quite enough of the beauties I've gathered. They only have eyes for my huge treasure. I'm serious. No, no, I, 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 I rather believe that. Now I'll, now I'll live in a lovely home with my new sexy wife. A pool in the backyard. I'll go fishing on holidays. Ooh, what a dream. In fact, I think I'll have them both. I mean, pirate is just a different way to spell freedom. I knew it was you, Captain Teach. And the, the one next to you is... <laughs> Gillies, what are you doing here? I expect this kind of behavior from Caster. But Saber. Alright, time to pillage! We're on land now, there are no hags to wallop me on the back of the head! This odd scrap metal is the smell of real treasure! Get it all! Oh, General, you take one too! 
Achilles. What's this? What's this? Fine, I may not look it, but I am somewhat of an art connoisseur. I have an affinity for old relics. However, I have no interest in women. I learned my lesson from Francesca, so split them as you please. That's what you say. You're pretty shy, General. Woohoo! As expected, the famous Bluebeard. So cruel, just like our captain. <laughs> but don't get carried away just because the General is a gentleman. Mash and the Night Princess are mine. If you lay a hand on them, I'll stick you in a barrel. Oh, but the one in the tacky blue tracksuit, uh, she's not anywhere near my strike zone. Who was it that liked pretty young girls? Was it Rackham? He was pretty sad when Mary deceived him. Gilly? Oh no. What's this? General's getting excited. Could it be the tra tacky blue tracksuit is his fetish? Not bad for an art connoisseur. Not. <laughs> when the general is like this, he really is quite frightening. You there in the tacky tracksuit, take my advice and make a run for it. Just might save you, you know. Whoa! Pardon me, I killed him out of reflex. But it doesn't matter, does it? He is a saber class, after all. Grin. <laughs> the fuck is going on with you, man? Well, I really wanted Saber Alter to come along, but she's pretty frightening. So instead, I invited the general. Who knew that he'd be defeated before he could even draw a sword? Oh well, I didn't expect anything from him, any from him anyway. I thought he'd at least be a shield. For I am a ki- for I am kind. But this is unacceptable. There's not even a cooling off period. Huge loss to Blackbeard. Why you? As another gentleman, I will not abide this. You tacky tracksuit look more like a bad guy than us. John, that talking louse. You seem to know him. May I dispose of him? Yes, please be my guest. Stay on your guard, Axe. Blackbeard may not look it, but he has some unique skills. When he's your ally, he may he's not much. But once he's your enemy, he's troublesome. Princess Mash, your appraisal is so correct that I'm completely overwhelmed. I can't believe you understand me so well. I'm so embarrassed. Almost as, some as much as when someone saw what I hid under my bed. At any rate, hoo -hoo, it won't be long before we're hot honeymooners. Senpai, this is the first time I've regretted being a shield servant. I want a holy sword too. A holy sword. I don't blame you, Mash. I want a sword too. At this fucking rate, just to get rid of this degenerate. Ugh. All right then. I mean, I know, I know, Gillies is Bluebeard, but like, I thought Castor would be more of that instead of Saber. I thought that was more when he was a general and he was still alive and was kind of respectable. <laughs> The man at Jean's side. But, uh... Oh well. Uh, it's gonna be hard getting not used to this. Oh wait, I just realized that last one's a archer. Eh, Nero should still have this. Yup. That's a that a girl. All right, teach you fucking degenerate. You're going down first. <laughs> just because. Oh good, and I have an Ibaraki chain to help me with that. That's a dead teach. Yup. simple enough <laughs> any last words blackbeard I see so that's what's it what it's about see you in sky 
Though our territories differ, I also share my fate with my ship. I understand how Missy X felt so much it hurts. <laughs> In fact, it physically hurts. That's hot! That's hot! Ow, that's hot! Ow! I wish you wouldn't press that glowing blade against my back. That's one hell of a handsome sword. He looks incredibly valuable. I'm of the same opinion. I think that X's sword is absolutely amazing. It maintains its classic and noble design, but who'd have guessed it's a secret weapon with that many functions? I can sense the freedom in its design. It's Cosmo good. Um, if you don't stop, Lily, at this rate, Blackbeard's gonna become a roasted pirate. I mean, does she need to stop? It's alright, Mash. X is anguished because her dear ship has been damaged. I shall return the parts that I picked up. You too, General. Wait, I thought we killed him. <laughs> Don't fucking glance off to the side, you asshole. Thank you. You are very kind. I am sorry about what I did earlier. Whenever I see a Saber class, I can't stop myself. You are Gillies, are you not? I sense in you dignity and grace, and a deep earnestness. What are you doing in this Freedom Nerds party? Looks like he intends to make full use of his right to remain silent. That's fair. Damn it, forget about Mr. Gloomy. Let's talk about my little sister here. To be precise, Lily's noble phantasm training. How about this? Oh, we have apology. How about if I, Blackbeard, train you myself? No. While I totally expect something to happen during training, I may look like this, but I know no shame. Y you think that's hidden from people? You think people don't know that? I will turn my defeat into an opportunity. I'll pretend to be your ally and wait for my chance to strike. Now, this is top secret. The reason I don't use a pistol is so I can get in close to grapple with my opponent. Try using your noble phantasm on me once. I shall dance as gracefully as a butterfly and dash to catch you like a bee. This is the kind of dazzling training experience I can offer you. How about it? It's obvious what you're after, Captain. For a servant to practice with their noble phantasm by using it on another. What kind of person are you, Teach? I'll never get another chance like this. Please, allow me to. Oh, let me cut your bonds. Lily, are you sure this is alright, Senpai? Blackbeard is after... Step back, you don't want to get caught in the crossfire. Okay, let's begin. Get ready, Teach. <laughs> You have activated my trap card! Fools! Without that rope, you're as good as mine! A level 1 noble phantasm is nothing to me! I'll take it, then I'll KO you with a loop and dive! Right there! Caliburn, cleanse this evil! Right in the groin! <laughs> Oof. Oh man, took a Caliburn right to the dick. Guess <laughs> you're gonna laugh. I'm gonna die! Anyone would die from that! That's more of an anti-male attack than Orion's! Oh dear, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My hand slipped. I'll try it one more time. What? One more time? Are you... Are you saying you want me to take 20k damage in a single spot again? But please, I'll do my very best. I can't resist a maiden knight with those cute puppy dog eyes. I cannot say no. But I'm serious, watch what you're doing. Make sure you aim for my chest, okay? You can at least get my guard up there. Okay, leave it to me. Alright, here goes. Caliburn, cleanse this evil. Oops. <laughs> you hit him in the dick again. <laughs> did you just say oops? You did! <laughs> Twice. Ah, that's the stuff! Oof. I'm terribly sorry. Next time I'll aim good at proper at your chest. <laughs> That's fine. Your noble phantasm is fine just the way it is. I've reached my limit, so I'll be going. Can you take me, General? Yes, you certainly had a terrible time of it. When it comes right down to it, pirates tend to lose their balls when they're on land. <laughs> Gillies, what the fuck? <laughs> General Gillies? <laughs> Fucking asshole. <laughs> Gilly's left all by himself. It seems as, he as if he was a little embarrassed. 
Now that's a stoic individual with a very dry sense of humor. He certainly has the core of a saber. By the way, this piece of filth is a nuisance. Does anyone care if I burn him to ash? By God, you're a heartless one! To speak of such cruelty with a smile on your face. Someone help me! I've had enough of this saber face. <laughs> Man shot twice in the fucking dick with Caliburn. That's hilarious. <laughs> Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. This, ev this event is a hot disaster and I fucking love it. It's a mate. <laughs> oh, this shit's great. I really hope more of the future events have a lot of moments like this. Well, then again, eh, what, what am I worried about? Oh, pretty much every event has shit like this. Why am I worried that the newer events aren't going to? I don't know why I'm worried. Alright, Wyvern. Alright, oh, this one's all riders, so it's all Wyverns. Ha ha! job lip oh. let's try this I don't think yeah that didn't kill yeah that quick wasn't going to kill either I like to get lips up level up oh I just realized that dragon has an aho guy Give me a close up of that last wyvern and didn't even have the thing. Right, that should finish the second one. Yup. from that too. Nice. Not that I really need the mana prisms right now. At least I don't think I do. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I bought out the shop this month. At least the stuff that I wanted. Like the experience cards and the tickets. Alright, now this one's called the Revival of Rome, which means... I'm gonna enjoy this one. <laughs> All right. My training is going well again today, Master and Miss X. It seems like the strength of my noble phantasm is about to improve. <sighs> Lily's so very earnest. I'm glad her training is going well, but my quota is not being met. Maybe I should find bigger prey. Senpai, Senpai, X is muttering disturbing things again. I've had a change of mind myself. I think now is the time to clear up that other question. Ah, you mean about who X really is? That's right, Master. Of course I'd like to know her class, but I'd at least like to know her origins. By the way, Miss X, you came here on that rocket, but which land are you a heroic spirit of? Senpai, Lily's ignoring everything and jumping straight to the question! So, you want to know my origins? Do you have some ulterior motive for wanting to know this, Lily? No, it's just rather painful to know nothing about someone who has helped me so much. 
I just thought that the least I could do was to thank you was make a proper, a popular dish or famous sweets from your hometown. Oh, I see. I guess I'm the only one suspicious of others. If that's what you want, then let me tell you all about it. John and Shieldy, you listen as well. I have nothing to hide. I am a servant that comes from outer space. I am heroic spirit that comes from the future servant verse. Fal? A servant verse? From the future? And from outer space? <laughs> so, Miss X, is that the same as the throne of heroes? No. The servant verse is not some boring warehouse like the throne of heroes. It is where servants conduct servant like deeds with a space like worldview. That is to say, it is a universe. It's a world where we have been set free from the burden of our origins and can truly do whatever we like. Uh, in that universe, do people become zombies? Of course. We have, we have everything from suspense, melodramas, and mysteries. It's only natural that we have a horror route as well. When that, go when that golden nudist said, I am mankind's oldest zombie, and stuff, I was sure this world was done for. Golden nudist. I can only assume she's talking about... A certain gold-clad archer. At least that's what I thought, but somehow he made it back to his own world. No matter how reckless the adventure. I've been through a lot, but I've returned to this town. As long as you say that when you come back, most of the time people would just pretend nothing has happened. Well, let's put aside talk of the servant verse. What do you mean that you came from the future? Unlike Rayshift, is that rocket a genuine time machine? A time machine? Oh, you mean can it make time jumps? Well, I'm pretty sure it can. It warps after all. I mean, a journey through space is impossible unless you can travel faster than light. That's incredible! My mentor is also a time traveler! Well, no. The incredible one is whoever it was that made Do Stallion 2. But why did you come from the future? Did you make some mistake while steering your ship? How rude! My piloting skills are perfect! I am a saber, after all. Assassin. I came to this era to save the world. The future that I am in is facing a crisis of destruction now. For some reason, our existence is on the verge of being destroyed. I came here to eradicate the cause of it. But I couldn't stand to ignore you, Lily. That's why I'm your teacher in training you. I can't believe this. I can't either. Even when you've said you've been given the mission to save the world, you can still make time to train me. I have nothing but respect for you. Miss X is, just like you said, a saber of all sabers. Uh, well, yeah, I guess. I am a saber, so what of it? I guess Lily re really got X there, huh? X is still pretty suspicious. But with Lily around, I don't think she'll be a problem. Isn't that right, Master? You think so? I mean, X is that saber. Ho oh, there! What's this? Someone's coming. Is that... Hello, Emperor. <laughs> Ho there! I heard a ship fell from the sky around here, but I'm exhausted from all the traveling, so prepare a feast for me first. <sighs> I feel like an Emperor when she doesn't even know her opponent yet. Red Saber, do you know if this, is, if this is enemy territory? What are you talking about, Caster? Do you think she can read the signs? First of all, since that is obviously a spacecraft, we're facing aliens. They can't understand our language. It's just one nutty person facing off against another nutty person. The returns are small, but the risk is small too. First, let us see how skilled Her Majesty is. Fool, why are you so pessimistic, Archer? We're facing aliens? Then first we must greet them. With kindness, sincerity, and passion, though we may be of different lands, the feelings within our hearts are similar. So first let us negotiate with a smile. There is not a living thing around that cannot understand that. It is a visitor from the sky, after all. They are most certainly overflowing with romance, passion, and a taste of the future. I will now proclaim with complete confidence the owner of that rocket is a civilized person who hates war. Oh, you couldn't be even more further off the target, Nero. <laughs> yeah. Oh, die, red one! 
Ha! No one suddenly fired a beam at us! And she's even specific about the color! Hey, Saber, do you know her? Oh, brother. So, can you still call her a highly civilized being, Saber? Nope, we certainly cannot communicate with this one! <laughs> they must be taught a severe lesson! Enemy group has entered combat mode. We have no choice but to fight them, Master. <laughs> I think I think we might be the ones in the wrong here. We, I say, when it's clearly just all X's fault. <laughs> they just wanted to talk to aliens. <laughs> Man. Oh, but you know, of course it's the fucking extra crew hanging out. Nero, Tamamo, and fucking Emiya. Of course, those three. Alright, let's... I guess we'll just do that. Oh, come on, Lily. Oh, I expect she's going 30. take out. I mean, he doesn't have much health, but, you know. Still, an archer. <laughs> Thanks, Nero! <laughs> that fucking crit for 28k! Alright, and I think we're done here. Yeah, way to go, Lily. You fucking did it. You killed something. <laughs> well, if it isn't John and Mash, Emma. I am very pleased to see you again. By the way, is this the first time I met you as a servant? Or have we already met before? If this is the first time, then I need to introduce myself. I am Nero Claudius, in my new servant form. May our friendship be long, John. It is nice to know you, Master. Yes, you're looking well, Your Majesty. It's good to see you as what well. it's good to see you as well, Tamamo and Emiya Senpai. Well, you are very kind. It has been quite a while, Mash and John. You need not trouble yourselves over us. As you can see, we have accompanied Red Saber here. We just we just thought we'd tag along. Actually, we heard there was a versatile appliance here that could cook and do laundry, which could be very useful for newlyweds, but... It's clear as date there's no such thing on that rocket. I will have nothing to do with such junk. Those ads were utter lies. This is going too far. Ads? Emiya. At any rate, I have assessed your situation, Lily. The manner in which you handle your blade is quite admirable. Yet allow me to assist you. If you need a fencing partner, then I am better than a hundred, nay, ten thousand partners. Thank you. It's quite reassuring to hear that from another saber. Hey, what are we suddenly getting along so harmoniously for? I defeated you just now, saber. You should resign and withdraw from the field. And you, Lily, you are far too lenient. All sabers besides you are enemies. Until you embrace that, you can only dream of becoming a full-fledged saber. We merely pulled our punches just now because we realized our opponents were Mash and John. But who in the world are you? The owner of this rocket? I feel like I've seen you somewhere. It's like looking in a mirror. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. I have a feeling that I know you. Who are you? Where are you from? <laughs> I have no obligation to tell the Red One my name. 
but I guess I have no choice here. I am Heroin X. I am an envoy of justice from the future. Come here to correct you sabers. <clears throat> Why do you cough now, Archer? Why do you perspire cold beads of sweat, Nameless Red? <laughs> I'm sorry. My apologies. I just sensed that this world was through, so I couldn't help it. But really, you two, you shouldn't fight. I do not know what your burden is, Lady X. It appears to me that the most important thing is to repair your spacecraft. And Miss Lily, aren't you in training? Or is it possible that this is somehow connected with your objective? Hmm. That's right. Even though you're with that red one, you are sharp. Oh, uh, well, to avoid any mis more misunderstandings, I do not recall ever becoming the Saber's ally. I am entirely neutral. And Miss Lily, allow me to assist in your training. Naturally, I do not have a lot of time. But seeing as how things are, I cannot help myself. Thank you. Isn't this great, Miss X? We suddenly have two more who, j who will join in on my training. Uh, yes. Well, if you say so, Lily. I guess I have no choice. Fine. I predicted, I predicted the monsters gathering here will only get stronger from now on. I'm sure Lily will feel more assured with you at her side, Red One. I will allow your presence for now. <laughs> I thought you were a twisted one, but I see that you're good at heart. I will go along with your policy. Casco, what will you do? Are you going to just play a minor role again like in London? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I was just, sorry I was just a minor role. I was concerned about Mosan and didn't want to take the lead role from her. She's pretty good, you know. Well, it's true that I never had a chance to take part. That's alright. I do have I do have my own main story after all. <laughs> yes, you do. When we get to the Japan stage, Ushi Wakamaru and the others, the others and I will have a great battle with the Japanese servants. For now, I trust that the time will come and will conserve my energy. Therefore, I shall stay behind the scenes. That rocket, or whatever it is, looks as if it has AC inside. I think I'll take a nice break. Hmm, as uncooperative as ever. Well, it matters not. Now then, John, Mash, Lily, X. May we enjoy much laughter. We've grown to become quite a large group. Oh. <laughs> yeah, what, what, what a fucking mess of servants we have now. Alright, I think I'll do Monster Attack 3, and then I think I'll end the episode here. And we'll do the rest of uh, the story in the next one. You know, I'm actually kind of surprised we never really got a Japanese uh, singularity. I mean, if if you count Singularity F, I mean, I guess that technically counts as a Japanese Singularity, but, I mean, not really. That was more just a, F, a Fate Stay Night Singularity than anything else. Because now what we've had that, we've had France, then Rome, then Okeanos. London, America, Middle East, Ancient Mesopotamia. Oh, well, uh, no, that... I mean, I was gonna say, I mean, I guess we technically had uh, Shinjuku as a Japanese singularity, but... Uh, no, that, that's more of a modern-day thing. I was thinking more of like a traditional Japanese singularity. I mean, Shimosa, I guess. Yeah, I, 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 I guess that counts. Yeah, so I guess we have had one. Oh, come on. 11%. I Huh? 
Well, kind of a waste, but I guess I'll use last Saint Claudius on the Wyvern. Why not? Sounds fun. It's just a mana burst for her, right? Yes, it is. But, no, not my grand. Imperial privilege. Yeah, that reminds me too. I have a bunch of a. Uh, I have a bunch of uh, interludes to do for Nero as well. Should probably do those in a video soon. All right. I got a gold apple for this. So yeah, I, I'll end the episode for today off here, and in the next one we'll finish off the Saber Wars event. Then after that, we'll get back to Camelot. <laughs> Alright, so I will see you guys in the next episode then. Alright, bye!